Welcome to another episode of morning guitar videos in my pajamas. So I put this Bigsby bridge uh, on a Telecaster and when I did that I had to kind of like carve out uh, like this bridge plate to make room for the strings <clears throat> and I was kind of left with some bare metal and what I what I did was I put some linseed oil uh, down on the on the bare metal spots uh, that I had made so it wouldn't uh, corrode and then I accidentally got like a little bit of oil um, like down into these joints where the springs and the screws kind of go through the bridge plate and uh, uh, it kind of quieted down the bridge before I had done that uh, before I did that <clears throat> um, when I would play this thing and I'd use the vibrato, I'd hear things kind of like moving around and scratching around. Um, so what I did is I actually put even more of linseed oil, like down where the screws on these adjustable saddles meet the bridge plate, and I kind of let it harden for a couple of days. And now, dig it. I can use this thing and I don't hear anything moving around down here. And it, it doesn't harden like paint does. It hardens like kind of pliable and soft. So if you ever want to adjust things, you can still do that. Um, anyways, yeah, this quieted down like this whole like shebang and this whole setup right here. Um, so if you got a noisy uh, like bridge system, uh, you know, heck, I mean, even if you have like a tunematic on your guitar like this, and you got like a Bigsby back here, uh, you know, maybe you can try dumping a little bit of this boiled linseed oil down on there, and, uh, and it might quiet some things up, and you'd still have, you know, all the adjustability that you normally would have without it. Um, I'm sure a little hot soap and water would take it off if you didn't like it. So this is a hardening oil. Um... It's very similar to like a paint drying. Um, I applied it with like a little toothpick in a very small minuscule amount to where I needed to quiet things up. Where things were kind of like, you know, rubbing and there was relative motion. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, there's going to be like a greasy oily mess on the guitar. And that's what quieted things down. Like this will kind of like harden like a... It'll harden like paint will, but it'll be like kind of gummy still. Um, like up here is some, uh, after like all the, after it starts to like evaporate and harden. Um, and then I guess I should say you gotta be careful with this stuff because if you read the back of the can, and I don't know if you will or not, but if you like have like a mess you clean up with like rags or whatever, as it's drying and evaporating, it'll get really hot and they might cause a fire so be careful be careful with this stuff uh, when you're done using it and you're cleaning up uh, you want to make sure that whatever rag you use to clean it up with ain't gonna like burn your house down all right this is the nine spots that I applied the linseed oil uh, I maintained the, the more modern type of bridge that has saddles that allow for the best intonation without taking away from the classic vibe of the Telecaster.